Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead. Here is a cheap, easy, fast way to finance those stimulus checks for individuals and businesses without reigniting inflation in the future. And that is for the federal government to issue 100-year bonds with a coupon of, say, 2 2.5%. Since interest rates today are so low, zero or near zero, there'd be a huge appetite for bonds with a yield of 2%. We'd get hundreds of billions of dollars around the world flowing in. This would finance those stimulus packages and do it in a way that wouldn't give us problems in the future. Why doesn't the Treasury Department do it? After all, other countries have issued 100-year bonds, even Mexico. So the President and the public should say to the Treasury Department, get with it, finance it, easily, quickly, in a way that'll benefit us all. Now on to another subject. One of the side effects of this battle against this terrible disease is the side effects of some bad decisions on the state level. Take, for example, the governor of Michigan. Governor Whitmer effectively banned the use of hydroxychloroquine for prescriptions. Well, she soon learned that was a mistake and backed off, but the governor is back at it again. The governor issued an executive order banning Michigan residents from buying certain things that the governor said was non-essential. What are these non-essential things? Household improvement items, like paint. You're stuck at home. Why shouldn't you be able to improve your house? What about gardening? The governor's banned the sale of seeds and gardening equipment. Why can't you go out in your backyard and spend your time cultivating flowers and fruits? We need common sense, not these kind of nitpicking, witless things that end up making people angrier than we already are and more frustrated than we already are. I'm Steve Forbes. I hope to see you soon again for another conversation. Thank you for listening.